Pablo Gunner here to do another Papa Gunner review for Tiger's Apprentice on Paramount Plus. Starts off right away. It's this baby boy. His grandma is driving off with him. And there's these spirits, these evil spirits that are going after them. That was a little cheesy, that little car chase. But the kiddos enjoyed it because there was animal, these animal spirits involved. My oldest daughter, four, she loved that part the most because there was a horse there. She was like, Dad, you know I love horses. So she was sold from that part. Even the tiger spirit, like that was cool. It jumps forward in time. He's a teenage boy. He's getting picked on. He's very witty. I actually loved the dialogue in that because it was very witty and it was very clever. And I enjoyed that very much. But I feel it was like it, at this point, it lost that younger crowd a little bit because my daughter was like the wordplay, not getting it. The whole teenage scene, not getting it. The movie was like too teenaged at that point for kids to be totally sucked in until they started reintroducing the animal spirits again, like the tiger. And it was really cool to get acquainted with Asian culture and mythology and lore and everything like that. I love that. Overall, it was just okay though. Like the animation was not the best, but it was definitely not bad. It was pretty solid. Dialogue and everything like that, it was pretty solid. The kiddos weren't obsessed with it. They weren't in love with it, but they liked it. So they were into it, but not super into it. So it was just, and just ended up being okay, not bad. And it seemed like it could be the first part in a series. So we'll see if they make more, but it was all right. It's one of those things that it's worth checking out. Talk nerdy to me. Check out our merch at TNT on the show. The store, our merch of the month is on sale with free shipping. Buy that stuff to help us help our charity of the month, which we give 5% of our profit to.